guys, Rebecca Louise here. Today I'm going to bring you 10 moves for leaner legs. So we're going to be moving lots, really working those legs. It's just going to be 10, 12 minutes, so nothing to worry about. We get stressed about, but you're going to feel the burn afterwards. So we're going to start off, we're going to come onto your diagonal. We're going to bring our knees in towards our chest. So we're just repeating it in and out. We just want to warm up our legs. Okay, so if you've done the warm up video, really important that you do start with that. Because it's just going to loosen up all your muscles and also avoid some injury. So if you're using your arms too, bringing those knees in towards the chest, see if you can bring it a little bit higher. And by using your arms too, you're actually going to get a little bit of an arm workout in as well. So let's just do a couple more on this side. Using that core to really squeeze. Three, two, one, and over onto the other side. Just squeezing it in. And can you see how tense my arm muscles are? It's because you know if you're working out your legs, you may as well get a good arm workout in too. So ma making it like nice and tight and toned, you're gonna be burning extra calories. That's it, squeeze those abs, bring that knee in towards the chest, a nice little warm up. Okay, three, two, one. Next move, okay? We're just gonna do a box step. So nice and simple. Just gonna bring our heart rate back down. And just nice and stepping out. See, this is nice and easy. We're gonna bring you 10 different moves. You can mix and max them up after you've learned them. You can make up your own routine, or you can just keep following this one. That's it, now big breath in. And breathe out, good job. Okay, come on, keep it going. We're gonna keep moving this whole 10 to 12 minutes. Really important that you don't take any breaks. That's when you're gonna get the maximum results. But if you haven't seen some of the results, you've got to check out the results page because people are losing weight and feeling great like crazy. It's all awesome. Okay. Three. Let's do two more. That's it. Last one. Okay, bring it back to center. Okay, we're going to go back into those repeaters, but I want you to stay here and we're just going to pulse up and down. Okay, so it's just really squeezing onto this core muscle and just squeeze up. And down, and as you get to the top, I'm going to squeeze those glutes too. Because what's going to happen is not only you're going to be working those quads, you're going to be working those glute muscles too. So that's a really hold on to your core. If you need to hold on to a friend or onto the side of the wall to get you started, that's great. But the more you start to really work that leg by itself, it's just going to get stronger and stronger. Whew. You can see three, two, one. Switch straight over onto the other side. So just bending and down. And it's really important that you straighten that supporting leg and that you squeeze the glute to the top. So that's what's gonna really work that butt muscle too. So come down and up. And the lower you come down, the more of a result that you're gonna get because you're just pushing your body that little bit further. Great squeeze. Come on guys, you've got this. Three, two, one. Let's do the last one, take it nice and low. And then come up and then squeeze at the top. Okay, we're going to do our fourth exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to bring your leg in towards onto your other leg here, so on your inner thigh. And you're going to bring your arms up to the top and you're just going to hold it here. So this is just an isolated move where we can drop our heart rate back down. We're in the middle of our workout, but we're still working because we're still taking control of our body. We've still got to really balance onto that one leg. As I say, balance, I fall. But that's no problem. Just get back up into it. Squeeze. I really want you to lift up. Now bring your arms out to the side. Stay in this position. Breathe. Squeeze those glutes. Tuck that hip under as well. We really make sure you're pulled up in the chest too. It's not just the legs that we're working. We really want to open up this chest. Come back up. Look up to the ceiling. And then bring your hands back down to the middle. Okay, switch over to the other side. So you're gonna bring your leg up, and then just kind of like, if you want to, you can either put it here, try and lock, oh, here we go, lock your leg into your thigh, okay? And then as you pull up, and when you squeeze and tight, your balance is gonna be so much better as well. And also, if you focus on something. So take those arms out, lift that chest up, bring your arms to the top, and then into the middle. I'm going to take it out one more time. You start to really feel the burn on that supporting leg. You start to really feel it in your calf muscles. Good job. If you can't feel it, you've got to stay there for a little bit longer. Because <laughs> you really should be able to. Arms out to the side. Squeeze. Lift in. That's it. You got this, guys. Come on, keep holding it there. I know you're shaking. I know you're wobbling all over the place. But you just got to keep 
keep squeezing until we bring the hands into the chest. Whew, that burns. Okay, shake it out. And then just give your legs a little bit of a walk out. Whew, okay, so the next exercise, we're gonna work in those inner thighs. So I want you to come out to the side. You're just gonna lift up, okay? And then you're gonna come back to the middle. So it's a side lunge, okay, a side squat. But you're gonna put all that weight onto this side leg and you're gonna lift up and down. Okay, so coming back to the middle. So we're gonna do one side at a time. So here, lift up, come here, and then back to the middle. So the lower you can get, and then you wanna push that weight all the way onto the side, so that when you lift your leg up, you can lift it for a good two seconds and then come back up. You really feel the squeeze, okay? Now this takes time. So if you're just only managing to just get it up a tiny little bit, that's okay, it's gonna get easier. So bring the leg up, hold here together. It's just gonna work different muscles as well. You should be able to feel it in your glutes too. So coming over to the side, lift that leg up for me, hold, three, two, one. Okay, last one on this side. Now really get that weight over, because if the weight's not over, if you can't just tap like this, if you're kind of here, it's not gonna work. You gotta go all the way over to the side, and then lift that leg up, hold, and then back to the middle. Okay, let's go to the other side. So, stretch it out. Put that weight all the way onto the toe. Lift up, squeeze together, and here. You got it, guys, now, come on, we can do this. Other side, one side's just gonna be easier than the other. So if you're finding this side more challenging, you just gotta work a little bit harder. Squeeze, and together. Now, it might not look like much of a movement, but I tell you what, once you start to really hold this here, you're gonna start to really feel your legs leaning out, getting stronger, and you're gonna start to see that definition in the calf muscles, in your glutes, and in your hamstrings. Come over to the side, squeeze. Let's just do two more on this side. All the way down, lift that leg up, hold it there for a second, bring it down and together. The last one, over, squeeze, Let's hold it here, five, four, come on, three, two, one. Back up to the middle and just shake those legs out, ready to go into the next exercise. Okay, number six. We're gonna come into a warrior and we're gonna work on our balance, okay? So this is gonna help your core, but it's also gonna strengthen out that supporting leg too. So what we're going to do is both feet are gonna be facing forward. You're gonna bring your arms up and you're gonna rock over and you're gonna extend one leg, leg up, okay? So we've got my left leg up here. You wanna make sure that you're not tilted out this way, that both hips are gonna be facing down, okay? Now lengthen out those arms. You almost wanna imagine that someone is pulling you from both sides, okay? So you're just really lengthening. You're gonna be working that supporting leg, okay? So you wanna keep this nice and strong. Extend out and breathe in and out. Now this time, just bring your knee in towards your chest. Okay, and then you're gonna extend that leg back out. Now what we need to do is make sure that your hips are both facing down. So it doesn't matter how high your legs are, it matters that your leg, your, both of your hips are facing towards the ground. So just adjust yourself to make sure that they're both there. Extend out, and then bring that knee into the chest one more time, and extend. Oh, you've got this guy, this takes practice too. So if your leg is down here, if you need to touch the ground, this is gonna be your modified version. So just bring it up a tiny bit. If you want to, you can bend that leg and then straighten it when you can. But really pull out. Okay, bring that leg in. And let's change onto the other side. You can start to really feel that burn in the calf. And if you can't, you're gonna do this workout three times because you're obviously way better than I am. Okay, so let's go onto that other side. Your arms are gonna be up. And you're gonna come forward. And you're gonna tilt all the way down. Making sure that that hip is definitely facing down. Okay, none of this, we're not opening up our hips, we're keeping it both down. So really pull, someone's pulling your arms, someone's pulling your legs, and then bring that knee in towards your chest. Strengthen that supporting leg, and extend out. Breathe in, and out. Bring it in, and as you extend out, you're gonna breathe out. Okay, hold on to it, hold it tight. Bring that knee in for the last time, and then relax those legs down. Oh my goodness, I can really start to feel the burn. You can start to feel it in your calves. That supporting leg is just gonna get super strong, okay? So next exercise, 
exercise, we're just going to go into some cross checks, okay? So just bring that cardio back up, because cardio is going to be great for burning the fat. It's always awesome just to go for a run, or if you want to go out for a nice swim or a bike ride. Or if you don't have time, you're just going to be in your home, this is the perfect exercise to do. Okay, so as well as strengthening our legs, we're also doing some cardio to get nice and lean. Let's just do 10 more seconds here. Try and bring those arms a little bit further across the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Release those arms. Okay, exercise number eight. That means we've just got three more to go. You can power through this, guys. Just keep going. We're going to go into our side lunges. Okay, so we're just going to go rock from side to side, but really concentrate and work those muscles instead of just kind of bouncing around. Because otherwise you're going to go for a minute and you're not going to feel anything. So what I want you to do, okay, I'm going to start from one side and you're going to really push your butt back. And then to go over to the other. So just keep squeezing and you're going to hold it there for a second. And when you come up to the middle, just squeeze in that core, squeeze in those glutes. And then big breath in. Okay, you've just got two more exercises to do after this. If you want to make this even harder, you can hold weights, okay? So you can hold the weights in between your legs here. Okay, you can hold a kettlebell. But just make sure that you just keep your body moving in motion. That's it, guys. Come on, you've got this. Just two more exercises left to go. You are not quitting on me now. We've got this. We've already gone through like eight, nine minutes. What's another two minutes? And this is what's going to make all the difference. Okay, let's get a little bit lower. So do it slower, but lower. Cool, you can right. And let's go. Come on, keep going. Pushing that butt out. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Come up to the middle. I'm going to come down for the last two exercises. Oh, and I love this one too. So what we're going to do is come onto your side. And we're going to lift the legs up. But they're not just going to be straight out. What I want you to do is do a little bit of a 45 degree angle. So if you've got your mat, you want it just to kind of face the corner of your mat. Now what you're going to do is your elbow is going to be right underneath your shoulder, just like we normally do. You're going to bring this up. Now this bottom leg is going to move up and down. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you're keeping that top leg nice and still. So squeezing it in and out. That's you really try and get your legs to meet so that they're both straight. Now this one's a little bit more challenging. If this one's too hard for you, what I want you to do is to move the top one. Okay, so if you can, keep them both up in the air and squeeze. Then you can do one of this way and then 10 of the other ones, great. Because next time you're gonna be able to do two and then eventually you're gonna be able to do this super easily. Okay, let's just do three, two, one. Okay, now what I want you to do is to keep both up and you're gonna bring the leg in front and then out. But as you bring it to the front, you're going to have your foot flexed, and then you're going to swish to the back so it's in line. But this one is still in that 45 degree angle. Okay, so flex foot forward, and then point all the way back. And flex, and then point. We've just got one more side to do, and then you are completely finished. Do not quit now. You've got a little bit more to do. Look, even Crystal, who's right here, is going to tell you we've just got a little bit more to do. She's, she's here to really give you that extra boost that you need. Sorry, Crystal, I'm going to kick you in base. And then three, two, one. Let's quickly go over to the other side. I don't want to have any rest. Come down. Remember, those legs at a 45 degree angle. You're going to squeeze up and down and together. That's it. Take a look, a look, a little look at what your legs are doing too. And maybe you need a mirror so that you know that your top leg isn't moving. So that's it. Hold up your chest. Come on guys, just one more exercise left to do. You're so close. Just big breath in, just keep breathing through the workout. Do not quit. Three, two, one. Okay, keeping that leg up, you're gonna flex through and then point backwards. So flexing it all the way through. You start to feel it in those glutes as well. You can feel it in your core. You can even almost feel it in your arms as well too because we're supporting ourselves. Now it doesn't matter how far that you bring this leg through. Even if it comes to here, make sure that it's flexed and then you point on the way back. Keep that bottom leg up too. Let's just do two more and then you are finished. Come on, squeeze. And then all the way to the front. The last one, let's 
let's just hold it up here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and now you can relax. Whew, there you go, you've got your 10 moves to get leaner legs. And we've got more workouts coming for you every single week. And we also have a daily tip. So make sure that you are checking your emails because we send out so much more motivation in our blogs as well. Check those inboxes and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.